Nine-year-old Colleen Scales lived in Kansas City, Missouri, with her mother and two younger brothers. Despite appearing like any other child her age, her life was far from ordinary. Their home was in a rundown neighborhood plagued by drugs, violence, and crime, a place hardly safe for children, especially since Clint's mother was often absent due to work commitments, leaving her fearful for their safety. Clint's childhood was marked by hardship. Her father had passed away when she was very young, leaving her mother struggling to provide for the family. They lived in constant crisis, often unsure of where their next meal would come from. As the eldest, Clint took on the responsibility of caring for her younger siblings in her mother's absence. With no food at home and hungry siblings to feed, Clint reluctantly resorted to stealing food from the local 7-Eleven. Though burdened with guilt, she saw no other way to ensure her siblings didn't go hungry. It was a desperate measure born out of dire circumstances, a testament to the adage that crisis can drive people to actions they never imagined. Despite the harsh realities she faced, Clint found a glimmer of hope in an unexpected place. A police officer who patrolled her neighborhood. Over time, a unique bond formed between them. Every day, as Clint passed by, she would wave to the officer, who greeted her with equal warmth. This simple gesture became a ritual, a bright spot in Clint's challenging life. The officer, unaware of Clint's struggles, saw her as just another happy child in the neighborhood, oblivious to the hardships she endured. In the midst of adversity, this connection with the police officer offered Clint a moment of normalcy and compassion, a small but significant comfort in her difficult childhood. Klein cherished the daily ritual of exchanging waves with the police officer, who had become a significant presence in her life. She trusted him implicitly, seeing him as a stable fatherly figure amid her turbulent upbringing. Their bond, rooted in simple gestures, spoke volumes without needing words, even though Clint refrained from engaging in conversation due to her illicit activities. In Clint's eyes, the officer was a hero. She confided, through all the bad situations, I would just picture him saying that he was here for us, and that if we ever needed him, he would be right there. He was the one person she trusted completely during her childhood. Each day, both Clint and the officer eagerly anticipated their wave, a moment that brought them solace and connection. However, one day disrupted their routine. The officer noticed Klein's absence from her usual spot. This unexpected deviation unsettled him deeply as he had grown accustomed to seeing her daily. Sensing something amiss, he couldn't shake off the feeling of unease. The officer's concern intensified when knocking on Clint's door yielded no response. Fearing the worst, he pushed open the door and hurried inside, unprepared for the scene that awaited him. The police officer was shocked by what he found when he looked down. Clint was lying on the floor, wide-eyed and looking utterly miserable. Her frail frame showed only skin stretched over bones, and it was clear she was very unwell. The officer quickly checked for signs of life and was relieved to find that Klein was still breathing. Upon seeing the officer, Klein's eyes widened in disbelief and desperation. She was in dire need of help and couldn't believe someone had found her. Nearly losing consciousness, Klein was scooped up by the officer and rushed to the hospital without delay. The officer stayed by Klein's side throughout her treatment in the intensive care unit. He made sure he was there for her until she had fully recovered. Doctors diagnosed her condition as severe malnourishment, revealing she had been starving for months. If not for the officer's timely intervention, she might not have survived. Grateful for her life being saved, Clint and her family soon moved to Texas. Her mother recognized the need for a safer and more stable environment for her children. Despite two decades passing since that critical incident, Clint never forgot the officer who had saved her life. She was determined to find him and express her gratitude. However, Clint faced a challenge. She didn't know the officer's name. Despite months of waving to him and his crucial role in her life, they had never exchanged introductions. After hours of searching yielded no results, Clint refused to give up hope. She decided to reach out to another officer from the same department, sharing her story and asking for help. 
This officer, in turn, emailed Sergeant Jeff Colvin, who seemed to match the description Clint provided. Upon reading the email, Sergeant Jeff Colvin immediately recognized the incident and realized that Clint was referring to him, the police officer who had saved her life. Not a day had passed without him thinking about the young girl. Armed with her name and contact details, he wasted no time in reaching out to Clint to inquire about her well-being. Their reunion was deeply moving for both. Meeting Clint again, Jeff was overjoyed to see her in much better health, with a healthy glow that had replaced the frail figure he remembered from their first encounter. Klein expressed her heartfelt gratitude to Jeff, thanking him profusely for the difference he had made in her life. Jeff was touched to realize that his work as a police officer had such a profound impact. Klein eagerly shared with Jeff how her life had transformed since that critical moment in the hospital bed decades ago. Determined to improve her and her siblings' lives, she had pursued a career in law enforcement, eventually studying at the Houston Police Academy. Her decision to join the police force was inspired by Jeff's heroism and dedication. Wanting to do more than just personally thank Jeff, Clint took clean and reiterated her eternal gratitude to Jeff, affirming that he would always be her waving friend. To commemorate her hero for life, Clint gifted herself a special metal bracelet engraved with the words, Sergeant. Jeff Colvin, a true hero, along with Jeff's badge number and the year he saved her life. She wore this bracelet every day as a tribute to Jeff and a reminder of his impact on her life, a gesture that surely touched Jeff deeply each time he saw it. Klein's determination and resilience had turned her dreams into reality. Becoming a member of the police force was a testament to her hard work and dedication. She expressed her aspirations and gratitude in a heartfelt, stating her desire to follow in Jeff's footsteps and be a hero in her own right, serving her community and country with pride. Not only did Clint express her gratitude towards Jeff, but Jeff himself was also a significant part of her story. How? Well, on her graduation day from the police academy in Houston, Jeff flew all the way to congratulate his dear friend. He proudly attended the ceremony and was thrilled to see Clint dressed in her police officer uniform, now a full-fledged member of the force. Klein's journey to becoming a police officer was marked by a tough childhood. From caring for her younger brothers to resorting to theft to feed them, she had faced numerous hardships. Today, she stands as a strong and respected police constable. But her life wasn't just about work. She also cherished her role as a mother to two beautiful children. Unlike her own childhood, Clint provided her children with a stable and loving environment. They enjoyed a comfortable life with all their needs met, often spending time together as a happy family going out for lunches and dinners. Clint's determination stemmed from her past struggles with hunger, ensuring her children never faced the same challenges. Despite her fulfilling life as a mother and a police officer, Clint never married and embraced single motherhood, much like her own mother. He reflects her dedication to her children and her journey as a single parent, navigating challenges with confidence and grace. Becoming a police officer like Jeff was not just Clint's goal. She also aimed to emulate his values in her personal life. Jeff, a devoted family man himself, shared moments with his wife Vanessa and their daughter, enjoying vacations and a stable family life. Their happiness together was evident in their family photos, capturing moments of joy and togetherness. However, life had its challenges for Surgeon Jeff Colvin as well. Vanessa shared a touching picture of a little boy with blonde hair, happily riding a toy bike. The reveal that the boy, Seth, would have turned nine that day hinting at a profound loss the Colvin family had endured. This personal tragedy likely influenced Jeff's compassion towards Clint and her siblings. Reflecting on the critical day he saved Clint's life, Jeff emphasized the importance of intuition and gut feelings. He believed strongly in the role of instincts, something echoed in Malcolm Gladwell's book, Blink. Gladwell discusses how instinctive reactions, rooted in emotional connections, can sometimes guide our actions more effectively than deliberate analysis. Witnessing Clint's resilience in overcoming severe malnutrition at a young age, 
one can only hope for her continued happiness and good health. Her story serves as a testament to human strength and the power to overcome adversity. Everyone wishes that no child ever has to endure hunger again, and Clint's journey from hardship to creating a brighter future for her own children inspires hope and admiration.